Hi, this is Terry. Welcome back to my channel. This is the very last YouTube video for 2020. Woohoo! Is this number 104? Because 52 times so. 2 is 104. So either 103 or 104. The, uh, the weeks might be a lines. little bit off. Yeah. Weirdly. So anyway, super exciting to be coming to the end of the year and uh, kind of exploring what's going to happen in 2021. Um, but today's topic is women and power. I created a club on Clubhouse. Uh, Wait, is it woman and power or woman in power? Women and power. What did I say? You said woman and power. Okay, good. Yeah, it's women and power. It's not women in power, but women and power. And well, the thing is, is that your post because that says woman in power this is and and nope, that says nope. and no nope, keep going down keep going down it's in bold right there right oh above. okay so i gotta fix that so it's not just women in, in power it's women and power because i want to explore how women are claiming their power in the world to make the world a better place for all and not just for a select few, which happens when men are in power. Because men generally see the world or life as pie and there's a finite amount and they're going to control that. Whereas those of us who see it differently and that we can create infinite opportunities and that expanding who's involved actually opens up the opportunities and it creates more for all. So it's not a limiting thing, it's an expansive thing. Super excited that today- It's like sustainable resources versus not unsustainable resources. Yeah, so I suppose it's easier to manage that there's a small amount of power and there's a small amount of whatever in order to be able to use your little mind in order to manage that. But what if that was not the case? And that's what I want to explore. So I'm doing weekly fireside chats and we had, we've had three. I'm recording this on a Monday night before we release on Tuesday. And today was the third with Dr. Alicia uh, castillo Holly, who's one of my investor gal pals, who I absolutely adore. She lives about 10 minutes from me in Menlo Park, but right now she is based in Australia. She's in Queensland, uh, hanging out with her son and his wife and her adorable grandchildren. Um, I adore all four of them. I sure wish they lived closer because every time I've gotten together with them, I've really enjoyed my time with them. Alas, uh, she is there until February. Uh, she did the two week quarantine in the hotel type thing. And um, I think I would have been a little claustrophobic, but she managed to make it through and is, you know, uh, Australia is basically COVID free and um, she's living the life. And I think it's gonna be hard for her to come back to the Bay Area and uh, exist the way that we are existing, which pretty much fucking sucks. I am so fucking done with this lockdown and this quarantine and people, okay, I digress, I digress, ah! yesterday I was super angsty and You're today, still today, today I'm a little bit better, but yesterday I was in really bad shape because I was like, fuck it, I want to get my hair done, I want to get my nails done, I want this, I want that, if anything had actually been open, I would have gone to it, nothing's open, so I could go do it. your hair? No. No, but I, I do dad's hair. I cut Adam's hair. Mine's a little bit more complicated. Number one, I won't use clippers. And number two, I I'll, really I'll need, you know what? Shears. I need a pedicure. I'm not doing a pedicure. For it's you. okay. I have the, I have the number of somebody who'll come to the house anyway. So I had a lovely, lovely conversation with Alicia about, uh, angel investing and how she operates. Uh, I talked a little bit about way, the way I operate and she talked about why she is investing in diverse founding teams and um, she has amazing experience. And I, I will always introduce her as Dr. Alicia um, because of the whole Dr. Jill Biden thing. So if you don't know what that is, uh, I'll put, try to find the link to something, put it in the description. Uh, just know that there are some misogynists out there who are trying to make it so that um, a doctorate in education or a doctorate in something that isn't a medical doctor is somehow not a doctor, which is bullshit. How would you summarize your fireside chat in five words or less? Oh, there's no way I can do that? Come on. I can't do anything in five words or less. Ten words, then. No, I can't. With no, a, with, try. A, with Alicia? No, let me talk about the other ones, because I've had two others. I kicked off the series with Lily Sparks of uh, CEO. You just avoided my prompt completely. Oh, I don't know how to do it. 
So you're just not going to even try? Let me come back around to it. Okay. Okay, so Lily, it, let me get the meat of what I want to talk about, and then we'll do the additional stuff that you want to add for color. How's that? Mm. Okay. So uh, Lily has a company called Afterglow, and basically it's a porn company with an underlying uh, theme of uh, women's health uh, and women's health education. Uh, but it's a porn company designed by and for women. And um, she sent me, as becoming part of the Afterglow family, she sent me some postcards so I can give away a couple of um, two months of porn and sexual wellness. So if you're interested in, uh, in two months, let me know. I will send this to you. So put a note in the comments and I'll send that off to you. And she sent me, it looks kind of like a bullet vibrator. I haven't plugged it in yet. Um, it's a little bit bigger than the Crave, but it looks like it's on a string of sorts because you never know when you're going to want an orgasm. So you can take one with you, um, take a little vibrator with you. And she sent an afterglow holiday bingo. And I have to say, I loved getting a U equals appreciated note um, and being a part of the afterglow community. And um, Kind of fun little treat to get in the mail. Now I just need to kick my family out. In a nice out. little obnoxious oh. pink package. Yes, pink package. I love it. Um, so I had a great conversation with her about um, the, you know, why they're doing what it is that they're doing, the market that they're going after, and also some of the challenges of having a um, a women's uh, sexual health and wellness company in a time that uh, where so much is controlled by men and men don't want to see women seeking our own pleasure and claiming our own personal agency around our bodies. So there are definitely some challenges around uh, women's sexual health and wellness uh, companies. And then last week I talked to Cindy Gallup who has a company called Make Love Not Porn. And basically it's social sex and people can um, record their videos and put them up on the platform. And it was an absolutely fascinating conversation with Cindy. Cindy started it largely because she was dating uh, younger men in their 20s and uh, she is now in her 60s. And she is not ashamed of this at all. And single, never been married, not having kids, uh, not interested in having kids or being married, and just is looking to enjoy a pleasurable life as also as a businesswoman. And she saw that a lot of the guys she was dating had been quote unquote trained on porn that was made by men for men, but not taking into account the real life experience. And she thought, well, why don't I create something that really is a lot more educational and also maybe more stimulating and more aligned with real life. And so she makes it very clear that it is not porn, it is social sex. And um, she has some really great big visions about creating financial platforms and insurance platforms and distribution platforms and payment platforms to support this industry because a lot of the traditional FinTech, InsurTech, payment platforms, et cetera, won't allow for these kinds of companies to sit on this on their infrastructure and so she has a bigger vision around that and i think i even challenged her whoops the light went out oh we were gonna check that this time let's see if we can get just a couple more minutes out of it so uh anyway so lily sparks with afterglow cindy gallup with make love not porn alicio dr alicio castillo holly uh angel investor extraordinaire Next week, I'm talking to Nola Haynes, and Nola Haynes is an adjunct pr professor at Pepperdine, and she is, let me make sure I get this right, um, she, we are going to be focusing on national security, um, healthier Creole food, and preserving culture, and how do those all go together? Well, we women are not just one thing, we are all sorts of things, and I'm really excited to talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> Not only is this so 2020, but it's perfect for the last video of the year. But um, she, she is, uh, her focus is political science and international relations, focusing on national security and foreign policy. I think that will be absolutely fascinating and talk about her love of food and uh, preserving culture. And when I, yeah, and that's no, it. So okay. sorry, we're a little bit in the dark. Um, 
It's okay. And then the week after that, the week of January 11th, I'm talking to Nisha Anon, um, who I met on Clubhouse as well. I met Nola on Clubhouse, and um, she's a CEO of DreamCore. And we are going to have a conversation about what she is doing and leading DreamCore to, let me make sure I get this right, create a better future for all at the intersection of criminal justice reform, green economics, and tech equity. I'm, I adore Nisha. I watched her TED talk um, recently, just blew up. Uh, there was some promotion behind it. And I'll put a link in the, um, maybe I'll try to put a link up here or definitely in the description uh, because her background is just so freaking amazing. Uh, I just, I can't even believe that she's done what it is that she's done in the, in the time that she's been on this planet. And then I just got um, Ann Beal to agree to talk with me. We need to uh, tighten up what we're going to talk about. I also met her on Clubhouse. And, uh, you know, what I, I love about the people that I'm meeting on Clubhouse and then the people that I just meet in my normal activities, which are somewhat limited during the pandemic, is I meet extraordinary women doing extraordinary things, but they don't necessarily see it as doing anything extraordinary. They just see it as, this is this is my calling, this is what I'm going to do. I just feel compelled to do this. And I want to provide them with a platform for them to share what it is and um, you know, find my little way of being able to boost or enable or um, promote their, promote what it is that they're doing so that they can continue to do the amazing things and allow for men, women, and others to see them doing what it is they're doing so they too can be inspired. They can learn from it and see more of what is possible in this world. And that's what I am all about. So while we wrap up 2020, which has been a bit of a challenging year to say the least, 2021, we are, you know, we're not out of the woods. There's still gonna be a lot of challenges moving forward. But my hope is that we are going in with some hope, with some optimism, uh, with... There's a light at the end of the tunnel, ish. Ish. But it's, also... It's a small light, but it's still something. Yeah, I, I guess looking at it just like, well, you know, given what we've learned in 2020, what can we create moving forward? Let's not just simply try to go back to the way that it was. What can we do to create something that is more beneficial to more of this, more of us on the planet? What can we do to support those who have visions that might not align with what has always been done before? And that's what I'd like to see for 2021 is, you know, looking beyond what, what has been typical, what has been comfortable, continue to shatter some of the norms and the expectations and create something that um, is better for all. So, because once again, if we go back to the life is not pie, if we go back to the opportunities that, that you know, when somebody gets something that it's not taking away from somebody else um, in a way that is, you know, negative or disastrous, that the opportunities are endless. And um, so, as I've said before, my 2021 phrase is shine on or shine. And I would like to shine light on others doing great things. I would like to um, shine light on, um, things we may not have explored before, things that may have been looked over because it didn't align with other people's, um, expectations or norms and see, see what we can create. Uh, I think we can really come together and, um, create some things that are absolutely amazing. So I totally blew off your, I mean, you know, for Alicia, you know, the, you know, encapsulating, you know, the conversation is there's more beyond the, what you see. Um, look beyond what you think you see to what might else might also be there. Um, That's more than five words, mom. Look beyond the surface. Oh, so nice. that would be kind of for the Alicia. Um, uh, for both, I think think for both Lily with Afterglow and with Cindy Gallup with um, Make Love No Porn, it's um, women sexual health, uh, women's sexual health is women's health. That's six. That's six words. But close enough? It's not you know, like I can get you to pare it down further. No, it's um, sexual health is women's health. That's five. Yeah. And With um, the asterisk that we're talking about women's sexual health. Yeah. And uh, I think that's it. So 
Any last words for 2020? Fuck you, 2020. Wow, you're feeling edgy today. Uh, my Look who's talking. I know. My 19-year-old is supposed to be out finding mixings for a new cocktail. I'm like, where are you with my new cocktail? Ooh, let's see what he said. He'll be home in a bit. Hmm. Okay. That's very precise. <laughs> So anyway, happy new year, happy belated Christmas, happy Kwanzaa, happy Hanukkah. Uh, If I am missing anything. Oh, uh, happy Yule. Happy Yule, happy Boxing Day. Um, Just sending all sorts of light and love out to you as we wrap up 2020 and we look to what is possible in 2021 as we come out of the, the shithole that is the tw- shithole that is 2020. So anyway, uh, I'm not gonna change. I may change up the bat, but I'm not changing up the rap, which is <laughs> <laughs> uh, let go of perfection, take some risks, and above all else, have some fun.